Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new donut painting and as you may be able to tell, I'm working directly on panel, which is a first for me. I decided to do this because I haven't really worked much with colored pencil on wood and it's something I've seen a lot of other artists do, so I wanted to give it a try. Before filming, I did a pencil sketch and then a basic underpainting with super thinned out acrylic to get down the values. Now I'm working in my first layer of color using Prismacolor softcore pencils, which I'll blend out with Gamsol. This piece is actually a part of my Draw My Food series. This is a personal project that I've been working on for the past couple of years where folks on Instagram will tag their photos for me to draw. Uh, well, their food photos anyway. Here's the picture that I'm using for this piece as a reference. If you have a favorite food photo that you'd like to see me draw, follow me on Instagram at Kendallin and use hashtag drawmyfood on your photos. Obviously I can't paint all the photos that are submitted, but I do look at all of them, so I'd love it if you wanted to share. Now I'm moving on to another layer of pencil and Gamsol, and I've also added in some water-soluble wax pastels to hopefully increase the opacity. At this point, I'm starting to realize that I'm not getting the look that I want with the colored pencil. It's just too transparent. So I decide to switch gears and start working in acrylic. This is honestly quite frustrating because I've just spent a lot of time building up those other layers and now I'm going to just end up going right over the top with acrylic. But at least now I know how I feel about colored pencil on wood. I'm using gold and acrylics and the Liquitex brush that came in my Art Snacks box back in December. At this point, I just want to have a smoother, more opaque color lay down, and I want to be sure that whatever media I'm using will adhere properly to the base layers of colored pencil and pastel, so acrylic should do the trick. The reason I didn't start from scratch with acrylic is that I'm just not a huge fan. My biggest complaint is that the color changes pretty significantly when it dries, so as someone who relies heavily on seeing color in context on the substrate, this really throws me off balance but I'm working through it here and we'll just figure it out. Now I've used white transfer paper to add the sprinkles from my sketch back on top of the chocolate donut. Now I'm using acrylic and gouache to work in the sprinkles and paint pens to clean up the edges of the sprinkles and to add shadows. Just adding the finishing touches now. Little bits of highlight using titanium white acrylic. And that's the piece finished. Hope you guys like seeing this process. As usual, the materials list is below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!